hey guys what is up so today i'll be showing you guys the fastest way to unlock all of the achievements from the newest sea of thieves update a pirate's life which will also include all of the cursed captain's journal and also the headless monkey journal so let's get straight into it Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just a standard speed running through the course. But what I'm about to do in a bit is uh, jump a bit to the left in a moment. Right about now to grab the lever. Where it should be used to open the gate right above us. So in the next place here, uh, we need to light up a few lanterns. I forgot what the one to the left right there. So I went to the uh, further mouse first. Uh, I'll go back to the lantern there in a later time. We'll rise up the garbage over there. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna go into the uh, path and light up the lantern there. And right now I'm going back to the first lantern that I missed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, fast forward the video until the animation stops and the drawbridge lowers. Alright, so what's coming up next will be a few parkour things where you're supposed to interact with a rope or like the wheel turning thingy. But what I figured out here, if you do a leaping attack, you can just skip right, right over and you can skip most of this animation, so that's what I did. You jump up here and do another leaping attack. Gotta aim for the uh, rock thing. And it'll bounce you back into the course. And yeah, after this, it'll be the pirate's graveyard. 
and the thing with the journals is that you're supposed to get the ed the headless monkey last but i figured out a way to skip over the invisible barrier that's blocking you from accessing the zone So you're supposed to jump up to the right thing on the barrel up there, but I'm going to show you the invisible barrier first. So I'm going down here and you're supposed to cross that bridge after, you, after you've done the mission on the main island. That part there is blocked by an invisible wall. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump over the uh, invisible barrier. So, I, so you can go back up here jump up the barrel up the rock wall to the tilings jump up to this piece here another jump and you can do a leap attack straight through the uh, wall <laughs> so the nice thing about the headless monkey is that all five of the journals are is right in front of you so three above deck and two below deck the first one's over there by the broken mast and then there's one over at the near the captain's wheel right there I'm gonna take the key first and do the other th two because I forgot the last one so you can take the key and jump over to the left and there should be a door right here which you can unlock with the key and in here you can get both the journals that's the third journal and that's the fourth and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back up and search for the fifth journal found it right there which is in between the first two journals and the fun part about doing this uh, headless mon monkey first is that you can access the late game part of the area through the open sea where I'm going right now so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swim around a little bit until I find the uh, cursed captain ship. Alright, so I'm going to fast forward swimming here until we get there. So basically just keep following the rocks till you get into this little ditch here. You can jump over a bit. You can run which saves you a little time. So you jump up and there you go. And the boat there is supposed to be the uh, end game part. This whole area is the end game part. So you're gonna keep following the door, which is still locked right now, because you're not supposed to be able to access this area right now. But yeah. So in a moment here, I'm gonna find the first cursed captain journal so you jump up to the top of the ship you go down to the captain's quarter and to the right that's your first book your first journal now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to look for a way out You just take the ladder up and you jump back out. Fairly simple. What I give for a 
All right, next we'll be going after the second curse journal, which is at the very top of the lighthouse. So you're supposed to only be able to access this once you free the curse captain. But I'm, what I'm gonna do is do another jump attack, which will lead me over the bridge. So I'm just gonna go up here and then we should be able to see the journal soon. And the journal should be right here to the right. There you go. The second curse journal. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump real quick to my death and reset at the big ship. I'm trying to find a way out again. So, jump out there, up the ladder, and we can jump right off. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is a little bit of an illegal move, but you're supposed to do poor Dougie's quest first, and after doing a few puzzles, you'll know where the chest is, but I'm gonna skip that and go straight digging his treasure chest. Like Alright, that's Dougie's uh, no treasure chest, so if you don't know where it is, curse. if you look straight at the ah, tavern's no entrance and look to the Climb left, lower me that's it. <laughs> that's it where the treasure way. chest is. So I'm gonna bring this back to Dougie. I'm gonna dig him up. So while he's doing all his kit there, I'm gonna put the chest down and I'm gonna go save the cursed captain. Which I'll figure out in a bit. Have you come seeking misery and abject war? If so, you've come to the right scale. Poor Dougie's been robbed and left for undead by a bunch of Okay. Now let's go save the cursed captain. So what I wanted to do is show you how to skip the locked door and straight to the treasure room. But it was on the other side. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
do this little bit of parkour here and get the secret recipe first. So you jump up here and do the pulley system in a bit. But ye mustn't give up. Ye see, I happens to know. And so you do this pulley bit and you back to these shores. You roll it back. Just almost until both of the platform meets each other. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna jump up to this platform and look to the right. There should be a hole and you can jump right in. Alright, now that we got the special recipe, let's get the cursed captain down. The way. Oh, I can taste me sweet, sweet freedom. Well, ye took your sweet time, but here we are. Now, ye just need to lower me cage. Very, very gently. Ye understand? Huh? What was that sound? Okay, now that the captain's down, we're gonna put the secret recipe bottle in the little game room right next to the tavern. So you head straight to the tavern, but turn left. There should be a little hole. Okay, let's, and we'll put the drink down there. Next, we're gonna get the the cage key being back on the ground while My also doing our next journal bars, but it seems I'll be needing another favor from if he can hunt down me mutinous crew and find the key to me cage well once I'm free we might just be able to so there's the a journal right underneath the ship and the entrance over there so when you get in you're gonna move the skeleton's hand. This is how. This is how to get Doug's treasure chest. Legit. So you turn up the flames. Three of the torches here, and then what do you do? You go down and pull the uh, pulley to open up the blinds, which will in turn show you the location of poor duck's treasure chest oh and this is one of the cursed captain's journal too you and right there okay next we'll get the uh, key to free the cursed captain and also unlock our next journal So the key's up there on the chandelier. And to access that you need to go up the floor and lower down using the pulley system. Alright. Once it's down, I'm gonna go head up. And the book should be near. And right there on the table. That should be our fourth cursed captain's journal. So we're gonna pick up the cage key, we're gonna free the cursed captain, Boy, and we're gonna bring his head over to the leader. chest table. Ye found the key. What? That's the way. I've been fearful. Oh, but the first we're gonna go back to poor dogs and get the medallion off of him. Oh, now that he's done with his little bit, we can give him back his chest, and in turn, he'll give us his key. Cravens, that's Dougie's treasure sure enough. Oh, what a glorious day. Let's see if my key still fits, and then we'll share what's inside. Okay, now that we have his key, we can open up his chest. And inside this chest, we can get his medallion. So we're gonna need the 
secret recipe bottle, the curse captain's head, and also the medallion yes, for this part here. Just roll my way across town. So we're gonna light up that candle to turn on the skeleton playing chest animation. And then we're gonna go get the cursed captain set. Sweet freedom. Ah, it feels good to see it more. Pick up the bottle and the All skeleton will be out of the air. So we just need to refill and that should be another achievement. And I've yet to find the sea lands. You get about the walk. And this is the fifth and final cursed captain's log. So right now we are going with the headless monkey journal, and we are also done with the cursed captain's journal. That be Captain Bones for ye. Old Bonesy could never stomach his own recipes. Not much good at chess. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the cursed captain's head on that skeleton. And then we're gonna put the metal down. Which in turn, the curse captain will help us win the chess game and get us that key on the table. Bells and barnacles! Is that the best ye can do? Well then. Me rook goes to Queen's Knight 3. And that, matey, check and mate. Which means the contents of the pot be mine. A fine, fancy king. Okay. I'll be bound now that he's won the game honorably and fairly, you can get loser. the prize. No matter. And we can open up the treasure room. Let's take this key. Find the ship it opens. So this key here Don't opens up the loot room that we see that we saw earlier still need my help with the gold, with the piles of golds and pouches of gold. Now that we've uh, raised the cargo up, we can do a little shortcut. We can do this pulley, and we can open the door. But what I'm going to show you first is how to jump over to the gold room without the keys okay so what we're gonna do is gonna head over to the edge of the island and turn right Okay, all there's left to do is you just need to jump up to the mass, over to the barrel, do a charge attack, and that's it. You're straight on the other side of the loot room where there's no lock. And that's it. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you do find it helpful and you do like the video, please do leave a like. And if you do want more updates and more guides on sea of thieves uh please do consider subscribing and that's it thank you so much see you guys later bye